guys, we're at the end of week 10. We're taking 150 milligrams of sertraline to treat MDDS, CPTSD and PPPD. Um, today, I'm not too bad. A um, little bit hungover, I'll be honest with you. I had a few drinks last night um, with Yvonne, actually, who's got triple PD. Um, the week's been sort of variable. Um, it's not been too bad. I've managed to um, not be too wobbly, which is good. Um, I've started to look forward to meditation a bit more, which is another good sign. Um, I still have this ongoing stress with my dad's estate, which I'm still trying to resolve, but it's it's kind of all coming to a head now. Um, so that's that. Sorry it's so dark. It's really, really overcast at the moment. Um, hope you can see me all right. Um, oh, thanks. I'm with my friend in the car. Apologies in advance if you hear any swearing. She has terrible road rage. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, there's quite a few really bad drivers at the minute. Um, yeah, so I had an interesting night last night. Went out for a few drinks with my friend Tia and um, Yvonne. She's part of uh, um, Unique Arthur's community. You can tell I'm tired, can't you? Because I'm, I'm not my normal... Kind of all over the place. Um, shout out to Steve, who um, we're going to meet up together and do some paranormal stuff together. Um, it, it's lovely to have people just want to help me. But actually, there's nothing that anyone could do to help me because I've got to help myself. Um, I get that, and I, look, you know, we all understand what's happening to us. We're all we're all following the same mind body approach to healing, and we're all at different stages of life in different. We have different circumstances, um, and. I'm sure that next year I will go through another phase of improvement and I'll be able to get into my body. Um, I have decided that I'm going to do some somatic therapy once I have the money to. Um, and once, obviously, once my dad's estate's all been resolved, because that is still an ongoing stressor for me. Um, so I have to allow, my allow myself the time to, you know, get that done. Um, but yeah, symptoms have been, I'd, I'd say, on average around a seven this week. Um, so no drastic, amazing improvement or anything like that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it really. Just um, just trying to meditate as and when I can. But I do need to, a bit of help to get into the body. And I, I, need, I need that from a, a qualified specialist in somatic therapy. So that's the plan. Um, I have tried to do the physiotherapy and I am sitting for longer without putting the massager on. Actually it was funny, last night, um, as I say I was in Margate and Yvonne came round to me and um, she's been my follower for seven months I think, YouTube follower. So when she saw the videos of the massager she couldn't quite get why I was so obsessed with it and then when she sat on it last night she was like oh my god I totally understand why you don't want to get off this thing. <laughs> It's so good. Um, so yeah, I was like, yeah, she, but she thinks that's a healthy, a healthy crutch to have. I kind of agree with what she's saying, but at the same time, I don't because I shouldn't need to bring it with me everywhere I go to soothe. But at the moment, I have to until the physio really starts to to work on me and I'm calm enough to allow these new normal pathways to build. Um, I do need it and that's fine you know I'm, I'm not putting any pressure on myself to get better at any particular time it's it's I mean we've got a look now at where we were all of us where we were a year ago it's so easy to forget um, and I can see the improvements that I've made it's gradual and you know symptoms have moved around the body um, I've still got the chest pain um, but the tinnitus has gone again guys, which is amazing. So I only get tinnitus if I'm really stressed. Um, the blurred vision is still there and light sensitivity is still there quite a bit. So I've got my glasses. Um, but yeah, it's the chest pain that's the worst, I'd say. But um, I keep watching Sam's recovery video and I've got to just learn to have time to sit with those symptoms and not fear them and not judge them but they can be overwhelming 
and that's the that's the hardest part is allowing them to exist without judgment because I know that's the key to recovery but they're so overwhelming it just feels like you're going to be murdered anyway how are you doing I uh, hope you're okay if you're not reach out and I'll see you on Sunday love you lots bye